Hello, my name is Zachary Taylor and I teach for the School of Politics, Public Affairs and International Studies at the University of Wyoming. I'd like to talk a little bit about media bias. Uh, this is something we hear about a lot, especially as politicians claim that a certain media outlet may report about them unfavorably uh, or may flat out prefer one political party over the other. And this isn't necessarily always that far from the truth. We have a lot of media outlets in this country and they do exist on a pretty wide spectrum of political affiliations. So what can you do to evaluate the information that you're obtaining and the media outlets that you're getting it from? Well, there are two main things you wanna look at. The first is the reliability of the information. Uh, and this is a little bit more than just, is it factual or completely made up? Um, you have to consider the degree of analysis that you're getting from a resource. Uh, at the top level of reliability, we have uh, organizations that try to report just factual information. Uh, these are things like ProPublica, uh, the BBC, the Wall Street Journal, the Associated Press, um, whose stories primarily contain just factual reporting. Now, it's not necessarily a bad thing to have analysis too. There are many organizations out there like MSNBC and Fox News that may have pundits who will tell you what that information could mean in the political sphere. And then as we go further down on the chart, you have, um, frankly, you know, just pure propaganda. Uh, organizations that are dedicated to presenting information so that it supports a particular political agenda. These tend to be things like the Daily Kos or Infowars. Then the second thing you need to consider is where along a political spectrum that bias may exist. Um, most of the major media outlets that we want to consume information from, so in other words, if you're looking for unbiased information, will fall somewhere around the middle. Um, they may occasionally have a slightly liberal or a slightly conservative bend to the information being presented, but by by and large, they're going to be presenting centrist information. These are organizations like Forbes, NPR, CNN, the New York Post, uh, even the Weather Channel that report news but try to maintain a very central political attitude. There are then organizations that tend to present information with a political bias but don't go to the far extremes. Uh, they maintain a fairly consistent middle-of-the-road presentation on one side or the other. Uh, on the liberal side, you have examples like the Huffington Post and the Slate. On the conservative side, you have examples like Real Clear Politics and the Daily Mail. So organizations that still maintain a fairly accurate level of representation of information, but in their analysis may have a particular political bend. And then again, on the far end of things, you have extreme organizations. Something like Occupy Occupy Democrats or the Palmer Report is going to give you a very liberal perspective on the news, while the Blaze or Red State may give you a very conservative perspective on the news. So none of this is necessarily good or bad. Um, it is important for you to have the choice of being able to consume liberal media or conservative media. Um, you may like having a news outlet that gives you a certain political perspective in the presentation of the news. But the important facet is that overall you understand where this bias may exist and where the media that you're consuming falls on a bias chart. That way you don't make the mistake of confusing information for bias. I hope you have a great day and go vote.